All right, here is the crowd, me, and this is my PMP knowledge area drawn out for the knowledge area of cost management. And like all the knowledge areas, we have a general project management plan, and I like to use the symbolism of a file cabinet, and that represents our project management plan, or PMP for short. And within this file drawer is knowledge areas of, well, cost. And this drawing I am doing is for the area of cost management and the processes that lie within it. It's pretty simple though with cost management, there's only a few. One, like all the other knowledge areas, is the planning of our cost management, which means how are we going to plan for it? What terms are we gonna use? What uh, monetary values? How often where do we store things? How frequently do we run meetings? Things like that. And so our output's gonna be our cost management plan. The other process as part of the cost management is, well, it's gonna cost us something, whether we're again, using dollars, cents, um, pounds, but we need to estimate the costs. And our output for estimate costs, of course, are gonna be uh, the cost for every activity and those estimates, as well as the reasoning or rationale or basis for those estimates, as well as updating everything that uh, might affect where we put our costs, such as a work breakdown structure dictionary. From there, we take those estimates and we determine a budget from it, which is essentially an aggregation of those estimates or an update from those estimates. And from that process, the output is going to be a funding limit reconciliation and other funding requirements that we may or may not need uh, or ask for, and then any updates and of course a cost baseline, which is how we're gonna use that money over the course of time because it's really using our both our costs and our what we've got from time management but of course that requires what work we think is going to be used or how it's going to be spent over that time that's your baseline the only other process as part of this is your control cost which is essentially keeping your arms around it making sure that it uh, doesn't go out of hand and out of um budget or beyond the budgetary uh, expectations that we have based on our project to keep things under control hence that's a monitoring and control activity and as an output we might need to change things so we would have requests for changes updates and then how things are going which is your work performance information and with that is a quick look at the knowledge area drawn out of cost management